Well, I know we both have our favorites, and, and it's a good thing that they're different. We have different likes of, about your artwork, but I have a really great idea. We have some very diversified friends, and so I think we ought to have them over for a glass of wine and a bite to eat and get their input as to what they think because we are going to have some people that know art and some people that don't know art, but everybody's got an opinion. And that's going to kind of help us make up our minds when we start narrowing it all down. said much and you never um, really involved yourself in it and now you're doing these wonderful things for, for for me and I appreciate it. I can hardly even process it. When I'm going through paintings or drawings and I find one I say, hey, I remember doing that. I like it <laughs> or something like that because I am surprised by some of the things that I have drawn or painted because it's not really well thought out as to what I'm going to do as far as a drawing or painting. And that's why it's sometimes such a mess, but that's part of the fun. I want to make a drawing with the intent of it being. world-class work of art. My favorites that I really, and I want to see them in, are your gesture drawings. Um, I'm, and you have you have several of those. Several of them have won awards, but they're just they're good. And the ones that she has chosen already, interestingly enough, one of them is uh, uh, I think it's a watercolor you did in uh, Puerto Rico. And uh, Biakes, do you remember that sitting up there on the roof looking at the water? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Uh huh. Karen has that because it's one of her favorites, but that's. That's a very simple, simple piece, and you've got some very complicated pieces. Uh, your ceramics are my, I just love. You've heard this story before, but I don't, I don't change much about it. Um, but um, Bob Nunn was my, my professor when I was learning, trying to learn how to make a drawing or painting using oil or acrylic, but I was starting off with oil. And I made this painting, and Bob came by, and he said, uh, well, Richard, now what are you going to do with it? And I always wish I'd said, well, I'm going to sign it and sell it. But I didn't, I was too surprised because I didn't know what to say. So uh, anyway, at the end of the class, of the semester, I got a B. And I went to see him. I said, you know, I don't think I ever made a B, uh, even in grade school. I always got an A. And so he said, well, Richard, what, <laughs> what do you care? And I said, well, you know, I might want to move to New York and uh, blah, blah, blah. But, 
Anyway, uh, it turns out, oh, and besides that, my painting won Best Painting. So that's one thing, should deserve an A. I'm speaking with Marty Ray, who until very recently was the head of the North Lake Art Department and is an artist, a very good artist in her own right. She was one of Richard's first art teachers, and I'm thinking, Marty, what's it been, do you think, 40 years ago, more or less? Something like that. Well, we were kind of laughing about it the other day because Richard has been going to North Lake for 40 years without a degree. Right. He never got a degree. <laughs> <laughs> because he just took art and music. <laughs> well, he didn't. <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, what I'd like to know is, what are your first memories of him as a student? If you have, is that way too far to even go there or? Well, I do have to agree. Uh, tell you, I don't have a very good memory, but Richard is uh, somebody that everybody could remember. My first memories are that he was in another class. He wasn't in my class, he was in painting. But I would be coming in and out and uh, <clears throat> see his paintings and um, pretty quickly, then he signed up for ceramics. I taught ceramics and sculpture. So he he was always interested in sculpture. You took it every semester? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Ray, yeah, he's an artist. He's an artist. And over the years, I've always referred, when I'm telling stories about Richard Widener or Richard Ray, I have to explain Richard, my husband, or Richard. So I often have said, my two Richards. <laughs> this is how long I've known him as a, as a student. But um, in my class, uh, Richard would do assignments, but he always had an idea of what he wanted to do. And it was most often to do with the figure. The figure is prominent in his paintings and, and um, in his sculpture. Richard was one of my favorite students, for sure. But also I'll have to say he was very challenging to me as a teacher for this reason. Richard always had a question for me that I often couldn't answer, technically. He would, he would create something out of clay and then want to know, now how can we make this into a mold and make, you know, other copies of it or how? He always went beyond, you know, just wanting to make something out of clay. I think one, one way that Richard helped students was um, his attitude as an artist. I, I mean, yes, if anybody needed help or anything, Richard would always be helpful, but uh, Richard was driven to just always be working, working on his work, and people would ask him about what he was doing, and he would talk about it. And it's the nature of um, the art classes, all of the art classes, that when students start working, they interact, and, and that was allowed in my classes and all of our classes at North Lake. So, did he help students? I think the biggest way that he helped anybody was being there, having the drive that he had, having, having the motivation, having the uh, ideas that he had, and the what challenged me as a teacher, I have to say it again, was that Richard had so many ideas that uh, sometimes I don't think I could even help him. I 
just encouraged him to go look and find out how to do things. And I think we work together as a team, and the students work together as a team. One of the things I, that comes to my mind about you as my student is that, um, yes, you signed up for my sculpture class in ceramics, but do yeah. you remember that sometimes we signed you up with me to critique your paintings? But, um, critique? Yes, I said, Richard, go ahead and sign up. Uh, I'm not a painting teacher, but an art teacher. And, and you would often come here to your home, which is your studio, and paint, 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 and then you would bring your work to me, uh, to the office there at school. Yeah. And we would spread them out and look at them. And so you trusted me to give you some critiques about painting. Well, which, it was fun for me to get to talk to you about um, painting and design and drawing. Uh, it relates to sculpture, and mostly I work with you with your sculpture. But, um, well, also, you sent me around and the wax, the wax painting. I didn't know anything about wax. And you painting. signed up for everything. Wax, wax, wax. You signed up for printmaking, on caustic, painting, drawing. If you needed a student, I'm the one. Well, but you went in. Capella class. Paper drawing. <laughs> Carry a sketchbook when you travel. <laughs> sketchbook, a little one, big one, don't. Sketch, sketch, do what you love to do. This is a, a portrait by memory, but I had met this woman years ago at a 30 mile race, and uh, she was a walker and I think still is, walks long, long, long places. But she did do one marathon, and so I was in Mexico with Susan when I was doing different paintings, and this is one that I did at that particular time. For many years, we've had a house in Mexico, and we visit it frequently. The house faces east, which is a wonderful facing. Well, also, there's a beautiful river um, in front of the mountain that I often go down. So maybe it's about the mountain, maybe it's about the river, maybe it's about uh, the world. I don't know. <laughs>